Life can be hard sometimes, right? But doing something nice for someone can turn their day around and make their day better. And this video might inspire you to do just that. When COVID-19 first emerged in the early 2020s, many families around the world were unsure and fearful. Some people were unsure if or when they would see their loved ones again. But thankfully, this soldier was able to come home early and surprise her husband. Here's an incredible moment where pitcher Ty Cohen struck out his final batter, sending his team to the state tournament. But before celebrating with his team, he chose to console childhood friend Jack Koken. Pitcher Ty Cohen had just struck out the final batter, sending his team to the state tournament. But before rushing to join the celebration, he ran to home plate to console. Watch how this man helps a baby deer who has become stuck in a metal gate. After being set free, the scared fawn dashes to its mother. And here's a teen that takes care of his grandma full time. He sets everything aside for her. Watch this dad who forgives the man who killed his son. Aisha Roper Boswell, a mother, captured the now viral video of South Hill police officer Fleming getting down on the sidewalk to play with neighborhood children including her own daughter and niece. Guess who mine is? Moana. Who's making a name for himself. What can I say except you're welcome? Like that, ah, though it's not to see. Watch this adorable interaction between football player Casey Seals, who came up to a little girl to exchange his basketball for Thin Mints. High fives for her, she gets a souvenir. These dogs thought that their owner was drowning and ran to jump into the water to save him. How adorable is this? Young Daniel's house was destroyed in a fire, but his teacher and fellow students didn't want him to be sad, so they came together to surprise him. Sometimes, we all need someone to lean on. And two employees named Pierce Dunn and Evan Freeman from the Dutch Brothers Coffee Shop in Vancouver did just that. But they were also taught to connect with customers. And yesterday, that connection turned into some much-needed comfort. Their co-worker noticed that a woman pulling up to the window was in tears. 22-year-old Mac is colorblind. Look at his insane reaction when his friends decided to gift him some colorblind glasses. This is what y'all... <laughs> Bro, what? Meet Juan, who loved his taco so much, he left an outrageous tip. Oh my God. Oh my... Mm. It's good? So... It's good. Try it. Did you get it? Try it with cheese next time. I gotta give you a tip. Tip. No, we can't do that. <laughs> That's how good it was to me. A fire was raging through an unfinished apartment complex. The man was forced to jump to the next story down as the flames got closer to him. He was still in danger, though. Thankfully, the rescue team came just in time to save him. This teen should be an inspiration to us all. These people are truly inspiring, aren't they? Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content like this. It helps. She couldn't get up. 
And it was a lot of grown men just walking past her. So I just put the stuff down and went over there and helped. While eating with other students, freshman Will Olson started choking on a cheese curd. But thankfully, a fellow freshman named Ian Brown was sitting across from him. He calmly got up and performed the Heimlich maneuver. Before the item dislodged from Olson's throat, he repeated the action four times. Brown then took the student to the nurse's office, where she was examined. Now that's a hero. During a basketball halftime show, a Down syndrome athlete hit a three-pointer, which enthralled the audience. As his shot landed in the net, Jason Frederick, who is a member of the Spirit League, which aims to improve the emotional and physical health of athletes with special needs, sent the crowd into raptures. The bond between these sisters is so tight that Trill Kami shaved her head in solidarity with her cancer patient sister. I don't care about them. I love you. And here's another police officer named Kevin Purcell helping a blind man across the street to the Barclays Bank. The officer helped the man after seeing him bump into the window of Debenhams. Former professional basketball player Shaquille O'Neal was in an Atlanta jewelry store and ended up purchasing an engagement ring, but not to propose to anyone. When he saw a man buying a ring, the former Laker offered to buy it for him. Cam Dedman surprises his grandfather, Fred Lamar, by restoring a 1957 Chevy Bel Air for his 81st birthday. His hand to his head, overcome. This is what he was looking at. Tinker Air Force Base senior airman Jabril Jennings went out of his way to help a 70-year-old lady load her groceries into his car and then drove her home. Heat with grocery bags. I just thought, what, if my grandmother was on the side of the road? His plans put on hold so he could help. Would you like a ride? And she said, uh, she said, thank you, and I would, I would love that. At times like these, sports can be used for the greater good. Ashley Adamitz, a senior cheerleader at Foothill High School, was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia. As players walked onto the field before a game, the school's football team presented Adamitz with orange roses as a show of support. And it's clear that Adamitz appreciated the team's thoughtful gesture. This clip will truly melt your heart. This bird loves to stop by and feed all his baby fish. This is an amazing moment where a father surprises his daughter after being away for 16 months. Ridge Quarles, a Qdoba Mexican restaurant employee in Louisville, Kentucky, was caught on camera feeding a disabled customer who was unable to feed herself. 